Hello people, in this video we want to look at the staging of carcinoma cervix according to FIGO, that is the International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics. First of all, where are we? We are looking at cervix. Uh, we are looking at the cervix in that cervical tumors in that you have some benign polyps etc hyperplasia etc but here we are looking at we want to look at what cancer yes cervical cancer here you have the columnar junction sorry columnar epithelium here you have the squamous epithelium between these two here you have the squamo columnar junction this is uh, where the cancers can start right especially because of human papilloma virus right because of a virus which is sexually transmitted right uh, so uh, in this basically what are we trying to look at in this video the staging very good staging so um, look at this uh, here how it progresses first you understand there's normal epithelium within the epithelium because of the virus there are some changes then within the epithelium see all this is within the epithelium within the epithelium there are some changes so all these are called as intra epithelial intra epithelial neoplasm or intra epithelial lesion okay so this is what you should understand everything is intra epithelial here finally it's becoming what invasive okay so in this intra epithelial you have some words like cil what is cil cervical intra epithelial neoplasia very good cervical intra epithelial neoplasia and then you have one more word called sil that is squamous intra epithelial lesion just don't get confused okay everything is intra epithelial fine now what they have written here they have written here this is cin1 CIN2 and CIN3. Can you see here CIN1, CIN2, CIN3? Yeah. But, uh, the same thing, you know, what they are saying is this one is L, low grade, and these two are high grade. Okay. So they are saying that this is L, S, I, L, and H, S, I, L. High grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. Understood? No. Very good, people. Very good. That's what they have written here. See, low grade. These two, first two are both they are calling as low grade, and this two they are calling as high grade. This is the Bethesda Bethesda system of classification LHIL and HSIL. In LHIL, what do you have? Come on, say. In LHIL, what do you have? In LHIL, you have CIN1. What do you have in HSIL? Under HSIL, you have two things CIN1 and CIN2. People are so smart. What will you see in low grade? In low grade, you will see that there is chylocytic atypia flat condyloma this is what you will see there is mild dysplasia very good everything is mild only no it is low grade then come to high grade what are we going to look at now guys hsil high grade squamous intraepithelial lesion right. high grade squamous intraepithelial lesion we are looking at in this what we will have progressive atypia so atypia is progressing loss of maturation standard things that you will write when any cancer and then in dysplasia you will write there is moderate severe dysplasia carcinoma in situ word they are using here okay so uh, low grade high grade all this you understood understood right but here what do we want to look at in this video the classification of cervical cancer according to figo that is the international federation of gynecology and obstetrics okay okay so people now let us look at this uh, staging okay so uh, we start off with stage one okay stage one in that you have a and b in b again you have one and two so easy right one two uh, uh, sorry one one has a and b and again b has one and two okay so this will be one b one wow one b two okay so let us look at this um this one uh, this is early carcinoma all of these are so look at this this one is you can see it is uh, all um, this is micro invasive everything is confined to the cervix this also one b all confined to the cervix okay this is like uh, within 4 cm, this is uh, beyond 4 cm, but that is all within the cervix, confined within the cervix. Got it? Shall we move on? Very good. Now let us go to stage 2. Stage 2 also has A and B. So easy, right? Now A has 1 and 2, not B now. This is also 4 only, less than 4, greater than 4 cm. What is it invading here? The tumor, tumor extending to upper third of vagina so where is upper third of vagina take the vagina and divide it into three parts somebody this is lower third they are saying so this is upper two third so this will be upper third this is upper third of vagina so if it is extending to upper third of vagina but not to the parametrium then what is it it is 2a 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 less than 4 2a1 greater than 4 centimeter 2ab no 2a2 very good now let us go to what what are we going to people? 2B, 2B, 2B. Oh, that's 100% right. We're going to 2B. Now, 2B is what? It's going to parametrium. It's just, they're saying it's going to lateral parametrium, not the medial. So, this is lateral parametrium. So, what is 2B? It's going to, come on, say it people. 
2 b lateral parametrium 2 b lateral parametrium very good now you got it so you say what is uh, 2 b <clears throat> extending to the parametrium very good now this uh, after 2 b onwards it is called as advanced carcinoma okay after 2 b onwards what is it advanced carcinoma now let us go to stage 3 stage 3 has only a and b no subtypes in a and a subtypes in b okay stage 3 what do you think has happened in a stage 3 a it has gone b to the lower third of vagina can you see it has gone where people to the lower third of vagina can you see it's gone to the lower third of vagina here this part lower third of vagina very good in 3b 3b it is going towards and towards and towards somewhere it's going something do you notice this side always it is going um, at this side and uh, this a1 is always going down is this correct so far that's what it looks like so what is 3a tumor involving the lower third of vagina with no extension to the pelvic side wall very good what is 3b <clears throat> tumor extending to pelvic side wall or and or hydronephrosis or non-functional kidney so it is going here because this ureter is getting so obstructed where will all the urine go then can you see here urine is supposed to come here from the kidney so where is our beautiful kidney here is our beautiful kidney the left one will draw and here is the ureter which is supposed to take the urine and go here to the blood but now what happened because of this um, cervical cancer you know there's obstruction causing hydro ureter okay so this is hydro ureter wait 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 don't use red hydro ureter lot of urine in the ureter okay so let's make it like this there's a lot of urine in the ureter and where will all the urine go to back to the kidney so what will happen here hydronephrosis because of obstruction in, of the what of the ureter so there'll be hydro ureter and hydronephrosis hydro ureter is ureter has become hydro filled with urine hydronephrosis is the kidney is filled with urine so there'll be a lot of changes here okay this is not nice right so this is what 3b 3b is what extending to the pelvic side and or hydronephrosis or non-functional kidney it may or may not affect the kidney okay but it has definitely touched the lateral pelvic wall okay now let's go to 4 4 what do you see in 4 4a 4b 4a also 4b also no a1 b1 very nice now 4a has what what are you seeing here uterus bladder rectum okay they have just labeled it here they have labeled some aortic nodes very good what do you think is happening in 4a people you see and you tell what do you think is happening in 4a 4a come on 4a they are showing you a side view lateral view so they are trying to show some extension anteriorly and posterior let's say so what's happening it's going posteriorly into rectum and anteriorly into bladder can you see it that's the whole point of giving this view right so this is 4a tumor involving adjacent pelvic organs that is bladder or rectum becomes 4a what is 4b what is 4b 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 what do you see here it is not affecting the rectum or the bladder but it's going very up actually it's going behind the uterus what do you call that extra pelvic spread metastasis to liver lungs oh it is very smart it's trying to go through all this and reach your liver and lung that is 4b okay so this is all is the classification figo classification guys very easy right and here they have written some lymph nodes in different stages How, what will be the involvement this is approximate they are saying stage 0 nothing no in nodes are involved then after some time pelvic nodes are involved then after some time para aortic nodes are involved 4 in 4 there is a lot of chance of involvement of para aortic pelvic para aortic that's why they showed here aortic nodes is it okay so this is all about the figo classification remember people we already told you that uh, early carcinoma is 1 and 2 and advanced is 2 and 3 and 4 something like that we told you right you remember in this where do you think all this stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and all let's try to add that information ourselves okay 4 4 means what 4a bladder or rectum 4b liver or lung so definitely it has crossed this line okay 3 what happens in 3 in 3 is lower third of vagina pelvic side wall kidney ureter constriction kidney so it has definitely crossed and it is trying to obstruct the ureter and all 2 2 is 
upper third of vagina ex or extending to parametrium okay looks like it is already invaded kind of thing then one micro invasive so invasive right so all one two three four will come here looks like stage one stage two stage three stage four yes let's take a revision here a uh, sorry one stage one one a micro invasive micro invasive means what what do you mean by micro invasive predominantly intraepithelial carcinoma there is disruption of the basement membrane there is disruption of the basement membrane micro invasive it is invasive so we'll go with that 1b 1 1b 1 what is it okay just say what 1b is at least 1b you see <coughs> um <coughs> macroscopic invasion confined to the cervix okay let's write that here macroscopic invasion confined to cervix <coughs> this is what we got from a different place not from the webs in uh, textbook exactly but it is macroscopic first one is microscopic means obviously this one is macroscopic okay then let us go to uh, okay you have to draw this diagram okay less than 4 greater than 4 okay then coming to uh, stage 2 stage 2 you have it is going to the uh, upper two third of vagina less than 4 cm greater than 4 cm 3b it is trying to go extending to the parametrium 3a it's going to the lower third of vagina this one touching the lateral pelvic wall causing hydronephrosis may or may not cause hydronephrosis stage 4a bladder rectum 4b uh, liver lung very good very good so this is the table guys um, so hope you have understood the progression of cervical cancer and also the staging bye bye guys uh, if they ask you staging of cervical cancer in the exam no you write how you will stage it also i mean you understood the stages how will you do examination you have to do uh, inspection of the cervix right you have to do uh, check the vagina you have to check the you can do a pelvic examination under anesthesia you can check the lymph nodes right by palpating you can do a colposcopy that's a vaginal examination hysteroscopy check the uterus cystoscopy that's check the bladder biopsy you can take a biopsy so many biopsies are there remember punch biopsy cone biopsy what and all biopsies are there then um, you remember all the biopsies we have shown you punch biopsy cone biopsy wedge biopsy surface so many things you have seen remember anyways where are we here, here we are so you can do a lot of biopsies and then you can do a curettage endo cervical curettage okay the cervix will have endo and ecto cervix right endo cervical curettage you think then coneization <clears throat> what is coneization that is cone biopsy only they are saying <clears throat> then chest x ray for checking metastasis guys now we are moving here focus okay this part we are going metastasis how to check they have come out of the cervix you also come out and you check what will you check x ray for lung metastasis you will check then to check if the lungs are okay you will check take an x ray if it has metastasized to lung then you will know in chest x ray then you want to check the bones they are saying then you can actually they didn't write anything about the liver here if you see they didn't write about the liver they have told rectal you have to check right large bubble then you have to check uh, bladder bladder they have already done here cystoscopy hydronephrosis for kidney right so intravenous urogram ultrasound for the kidney examination very good all this we understood bubble photoscopy oh sorry proctoscopy okay where are we here <coughs> rectal involvement proctoscopy bubble involvement barium enema are they still doing this enema hydronephrosis usg bone metastasis skeletal x-ray chest x-ray for pulmonary metastasis okay nowadays they are doing mri very important okay mri laparoscopy laparoscopy also don't forget that's why they are telling uh, surgical staging that will become okay laparoscopy also don't forget okay we didn't highlight it here so this is all uh, optional they are saying all this for figo staging they don't they don't need all this so much of high fives strictly figo mostly clinical they seem to be doing okay now why will you do staging that also you write okay you'll get nice marks staging you will do for prognosis you can determine how far it has spread whether the patient will survive what treatment to give right what else what else will you need staging for treatment only right treatment and prognosis that's it okay that's it for now guys hope you have learned bye bye